For more than 15 years, Conquest Scents has been selling premium hunting scents to hunters around the country. What separates Conquest Scents from other scent companies is their family-ran deer farm that has produced some of the largest typical bucks in North America for over 27 years. Located in Davison, Michigan, Conquest Scents are manufactured, packaged, and distributed from the same property it is collected on. Through this half-hour television program, we will educate you on our best seller, Evercom, and why it's so effective. We will introduce new products like the Scrape Maker, Evercom Bomb, and Rutting Bomb, as well as the new Scentfire, the Electronic Scent Vaporizer. It's here, on this half-hour program, where you will find out why you should be using Conquest Scents in the Deer Woods this fall. To start it off, owner Doug Roberts explains how Evercom was created. Well, how we found Evercom really was one of our workers handling a, a large number of deer that day and he got all of the scents and smells on him and he went out hunting that night and all of the wild deer actually were attracted to him. Even though they could see him, as soon as they smelled him, they felt comfortable around him. They started chasing each other. So really that in essence was the start of Evercom, which was really deer herd in a bottle. We just had to figure out how do we how can we collect those sense of smells from deer and market them to the hunter. It didn't take long for Doug to start thinking through the process of collecting scent in a new way. This won't be your normal doe urine for early season. If collected correctly, the smell would duplicate the bedding area, a place where deer feel safe. So what we were able to do is actually collect all of the different scents and smells from those deer in, in a controlled setting and, and capture that and put it in a bottle and hence you now have Evercom. Okay, what we're using here is we're using Evercom liquid. Want to preload it with drops. Open it up. Once you have the, the stink stick preloaded with Evercom liquid, you simply place it out in three spots, one to your left, out in front of you, and to the right, and this simply is hanging out like that, and you have Evercom immediately going out and creating this area of comfort, safety, and, and a bedding area right here, right where you're hunting. When we looked at the liquid, we, we wanted to figure out a way of not having to put a preservative into it to make it last sitting on a shelf and looking around at all of the different natural things there were, um, we realized wax is a natural holder, a natural sealer, a natural preservative. And so we wanted to find out, is there a way that we could encapsulate the liquid into a wax formula in liquid form, and then as it cooled and set up, it actually hardened, and so it would seal off and protect all that scent. So once you wipe it out as a hunter, the scent then evaporates out into the air before it can spoil and you're just left with a wax residue. Evercom Wax is the number one selling scent at Conquest Scents. Evercom Wax won't spill like liquid scents that create a mess. It won't freeze or wash away in the rain. And above all else, it's an all-season calming scent. You can use it every time you enter the woods. Capsulated in the wax formula, allows 100% use of the product. If properly placed back in the reusable sealable bag and is stored in the cool area, Evercom Wax will be good for the next season. Evercom is one of these scents that you can actually put on your own self. You can become a deer in the woods. I like to actually rub it on my boots. I rub it on the lower part of my pant legs, my arm sleeves, and if I'm in a ground blind, I'll actually either put it on the ground blind. If I'm in a tree stand, I like to come in with a drag line system. Again, on my boots. I want to put some out to my left, to my right, and out in front of me on some branches or rocks or trees that I can get the different smell currents, but I create this area of calmness using Evercom. When I get up in my tree stand, I wipe a little bit on the tree above my head, so wherever my breath goes, that scent is going also because it'll follow the same wind currents. So a number of different ways to use Evercom. The secret is always use Evercom every time you go out into the woods. You cannot overwhelm an area with the stick formula. 
It's got a blend that just creates a sense of safety to the wild deer herd and attracts them into an area where you're able to get a shot. Its name really fits. It calms the deer. It, it attracts them in because they're curious about who the new deer are in that area, but yet they feel very safe around it because it's 100% real product. It's not artificial, it's not blended with anything. It's the real product in dispensing ways of getting it into the field without preservatives, without changing the chemical structure of the scent. And so it's become very effective and we're very blessed that the hunters have, that have been using it are so successful with it and they let us know that, hey, keep making a great product. Thank you for making a real product. Uh, if you haven't tried Evercom, I urge you to try it. I think it will really enhance your hunting experience and I know you'll be more successful. Coming up after the break, we introduce our newest and latest product to hit the market. It's called Evercom Bomb and Rutting Bomb. Stay with us right here on Conquest Sense. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. You are watching Conquest Scents Special Edition, right here on Pursuit Channel. Well, we looked at the liquid scents on the market and we knew we had to be different, so we figured out the wax formula. And that was 14 years ago. It can handle any type of environment, wet, rain, downpours. It leaves a scent trail consistently all the time. Very good to put on your boots, on your sleeves. If you bump something, it leaves a wax residue with that scent in it. Evercom in the stick formula has become the number one requested scent by hunters and is used all over the country. But hunters have also been asking us for it to be in an aerosol. Well, let me introduce you to the Evercom bomb in the aerosol can. What's nice about the bomb, the new aerosol bomb, is that it also atomizes. So as the scent comes out of that can, it's spinning and it increases the strength of the scent and it makes it stick to things. So I can now leave a scent trail on the ground by putting the Evercom wax stick on my boots but I can also take the aerosol bomb and I can make a scent trail at the nose height of animals on the brush and branches as I walk into and around my stand. So I now have two different scent trails that deer are able to work with, with the same smell. Also with the bomb, I can set it off. I can literally fill the area with Evercom very quickly and efficiently that will hold in the area because it's atomized as the scent comes out of the can. The Evercom Bomb and the Rutting Bomb, both available at your local retailer and ConquestSense.com. The Rutting Bomb is actually is a buck urine of when they're in the rut. Now, what's the best way to use this? Well, again, you can leave a scent trail on the ground or on branches as you're going in and out of, but I like using it with scrape lines or mock scrapes. A scrape line, if I can find a scrape line of bucks that are being used and I can take the bomb and I can spray a scent trail from one scrape to the next to the next and then I can end it in front of my stand, I have a much better chance of those bucks coming in. Normally it'll be the dominant buck in the area that doesn't want a new buck in that area. So he's gonna find him and push him out. If you can make a mock scrape, and I like making mock scrapes, set it up where I can shoot to that mock scrape. Now I can saturate the ground with the bomb. I can literally spray it full of the atomizing scent. It gets very, very strong. It's very pugnant. I put the Evercom bomb up on the licking branch. You have real deer smells up top. It makes everything in that environment very authentic for those bucks to take that over and be aggressive in checking that spot more often. And hopefully it's in front of your stand to make the harvest. With the addition to Rutting Bomb and Evercom Bomb, Conquest Scents can be dispersed in so many new ways. 
the new aerosol bombs sell for $19.99. These 7 ounce cans disperse out to 6 feet, allowing easy scent placement while walking to your stand. With the ever common rutting bombs, you can lock down the nozzle to fill your area. The nozzle atomizes the scent during dispersal, which allows your scent to stick and cling to vegetation. Be sure to order in time for your hunt. Visit ConquestScents.com to order yours today. Well, when you go back to the original liquid, the Evercom liquid, that two ounce bottle retails for $14.99. Then you go to the wax stick formula, the two and a half ounce wax stick, it retails for $19.99. So does the aerosol bomb, the Evercom bomb and the rutting bomb both retail for $19.99 and those are seven ounce cans. So everything is balanced very well for the amount of product you get for the efficiency of use out in the field. Coming up next, Doug Roberts shares his scent techniques to attract dominant bucks to mock scrapes. Buck's done with a scrape. Hits it with each of his front bucks. And, and Tom Nelson from the American Archer discusses the importance of an authentic scrape using the new scrape maker. Keep watching to learn mock scrape techniques with Conquest Scents. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. I'm Tom Nelson. One of the most effective ways you can prep your hunting area for whitetail deer season is to use mock scrapes. For years I've used a scrape maker. It has four key components needed to make visual appealing mock scrapes. Here's how I make a mock scrape. First I find an overhanging branch. Then I take the tool and I beat up the end of that overhanging branch, kind of shredding it. Then I add some Evercom. Then I take the scrape maker and I tear up the ground underneath the overhanging branch in different directions as if a whitetail buck is doing. After that I add some rutting buck to the scrape. It adds that element of a new buck in the area, that testosterone smell that challenges other bucks. In the area surrounding the scrape, I'll make some rubs on adjacent trees using this serrated edge here just to rip up trees for, again, that visual effect. For a little extra attractant, I'll add rutting buck to those rubs also. The scrape maker, rutting buck, and Evercom, the three best tools you can use to prep your hunting area by Conquest Sense. Well, the scrape maker is actually a tool specifically designed to make a mock scrape or refresh in an active real scrape to authenticity. Now, the scrape maker has four unique parts to it. The first, two little toes here, makes the lines and digs the dirt just like a buck's hoof print would. Second, if you look on the one side, it's a serrated edge. Rake this through the licking branch, it actually breaks it up like the antlers would from a buck. Third, on the other side, we have a really sharp, smooth blade. What this is for is actually raking on trees around the scrape and creating rubs. Fourth and last is an oversized hoof print. By placing this in the ground in the middle of the scrape, the dominant bucks in that area want to come in, they want to scrape it out, they will put their footprint in and take the scrape over. One thing to think about, you know, that this to sell the scrape is that hoof print in it and people say why, why is there just one print how come you don't track it all up and stuff well to originally sell it to that first buck coming in when a buck's done with a scrape after he hits it with each of his front hooks and he digs it up as he leaves generally speaking there's only one print he'll step in at one time as he's walking away leaving that telltale signature sign of his as he vacates that scrape hence the reason i put one nice big print right in the middle of it again to visually sell it that oversize really makes a dominant buck get aggressive for retaking that mock scrape over. Now, how do we finish this mock scrape? To finish that scrape, you need the perfect smells in the perfect place. We say to combo that with the rutting buck pack from Conquest Sense. It's the Evercom and the rutting buck stick, both in wax formula. Again, Evercom up on the licking branch, so it's all deer smells. And then we actually put the rutting buck wax flake it off, put it on stuff in that scrape. 
We take Evercalm, either in the wax stick formula or the aerosol bomb, and we put it up on the licking branch. We want that all deer smell up there. Or we can use the rutting bomb and actually saturate the ground with the bomb, which will stay there for a length of period. So you have the, the urine and the rutting buck smell on the ground, which is the correct place. You have real deer smells up top. It makes everything in that environment very authentic for those bucks to take that over and be aggressive in checking that spot more often and hopefully it's in front of your stand to make the harvest. Now, it's easier than ever to duplicate real buck sign utilizing the 4-in-1 scrape maker. Combined with the rutting buck package, you can create scrapes that every deer in your woods will want to visit. You can purchase your scrape maker for only $19.99 and the rutting buck package for $34.99. Act now and save $15 by ordering the scrape maker bundle for only $50. Visit conquestsense.com and get yours today. Again, all we're trying to do is get the deer, the buck to come, stop, smell, give us a shot opportunity. That's all we're looking for. Coming up next, Doug Roberts heads to Texas with the first ever electronic scent vaporizer. It's called Scentfire, and it turns liquid scent into vapor. Stay with us. Big bucks are in rut and fired up in Texas, right here on Conquest Scents. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Vaporizing scent has never been done until now. Well, Conquest Scents is very excited to come out with another product that creates a new category, and it's vaporizing scent. The scent fire unit that we now are selling is a little unit that actually heats the liquid scent and vaporizes it into the air. And what's even better is we can use it and work it by remote up to 40 yards away. We can set it off whenever we want it. We can set it on a timer mode of one minute or three minutes, or we can actually put it on standby. What's very unique about this product is the industry for years and hunters for years have been trying to figure out how to heat scent. Because if we heat it, not only does it smell stronger, but it carries further on air currents. So we can actually attract animals from a further distance than we ever have with regular scents. That's pretty amazing that we can heat it, vaporize it, have it carry further, it's a stronger scent, and control it by remote, all while bow hunting. This works on three AA lithium batteries. What's nice is it follows the air currents much further and you can control the amount of scent you put out. Now I can manually push the button, it'll go to green. Green, it actually will go off once automatically every one minute. Or I can simply push A on the remote and now it will go off every 60 seconds. If I push B on the remote, it's gonna to turn to blue. It'll go off once every three minutes. I now simply push C and it turns it back to red and puts it on standby. So I can set this out 40 yards away. I can turn it on and I can go to my tree stand and actually activate it. Every time I push a button, I can make the unit vaporize. To the scent fire and that has the vs1 in it so because does are coming into heat here that is a normal smell that bucks are attracted to and even the does aren't offended by it right now because they know that smell is in the air 
Now, a number of people are always asking, you know, how do we set it up? Well, easy to set it on the ground. If you have a spot that's flat and you can set it on the ground, activate it. And again, remember it works by remote control. But I really do think that you get more air current. You get a further dispensing of the scent if you can hang it from a tree or place it four or five feet off the ground. And all you have to do, because the scent fire is already built with the screw in edge, just simply screw it onto the trail camera and you're good to go. Now you can get up in your tree stand and actually use it and work it by a remote control. But if you notice, being up this high, it's gonna carry much further than if it were down on the ground. So you're getting a better scent dispersion. You're gonna be able to attract deer from a further distance away, right into the scent fire unit. And they're gonna be in here looking for it while you're setting up and getting ready for your shot. I can't say enough. It's just so blessed that I get to come down in December. You know, I don't get time to hunt. And so when I come down with Mike and Savage Outdoors and Uncle Randy and I'm able to hunt here in Texas, um, this is the warmest it's ever been. Uh, and, and again, we hit the rut just perfect. What's amazing to me the whole time that we've been down here is how the deer have reacted truly to the scents, to the new scent fire unit. A lot of the footage, the bucks went and hung around the scent fire and the stink stick with Evercom in it. But a but, uh, little velvet on the end, we'll leave that there. That looks pretty cool. But total success, couldn't be happier. Thank you, dear Lord. Definitely a blessing. Thank my wife for letting me get out of the, get off the farm and go hunt. She knows I love and love, love to hunt whitetails. But gorgeous animal. What do you get when you purchase a scent fire unit? Well, first of all, you get the unit itself, you get the remote with a battery included, and you get your first cartridge of Evercom scent. Now this package retails for $69.99. If you look at that cartridge, if it goes off once every three minutes, that gives you 50 hours of hunting time out in the woods. So it's a very efficient way of dispensing scent. Again, it's heating it and vaporizing it and putting it out in the air. The unit, the remote, and the cartridge for $69.99. AA lithium batteries are not included for the Scentfire unit. Refills for the Scentfire can be purchased at ConquestScents.com. We offer Evercom, VS1, and Rutting Buck, as well as the Hunter's Package and the Rutting Buck Package. Be sure to order in time for your hunt. Check your local retailers or go to ConquestSense.com.